Hey guys, I wanted to show off my Makiwara collection and encourage you not to get one. And the reason is they're super dangerous. I've almost broken my hand on these things. And despite what Lyoto Machida might say, they're really not that valuable in terms of hand conditioning. You can get much better results from a sandbag. And I mean like within three weeks you'll be sparring and your sparring partners are gonna be like, what the fuck is in your gloves? Sorry, I know Jesse says if you swear within the first 10 seconds, they instantly demonetize the video. I gotta watch that. If you are a black belt or above, then sure, you're gonna understand that you can literally hit an unpadded wall gently and, and condition your knuckles. You're gonna know how to, how to really use any solid object to condition your body without hurting yourself because you're gonna know how to condition your body carefully and, and lovingly and gently. In the meantime, until you build up to that black belt level, I would avoid these things. I mean, I love these things. I'm going to be practicing striking for the rest of my life every day. Striking objects, I just happen to enjoy it. You know, a lot of people who are into fitness and bodybuilding, it's just something they might do in a boxing class once a year. For me, it's, um, it's really enjoyable. And I um, just want to shout out my buddy, um, Shreveport, Louisiana, Dan. My best friend is always saying, I think I'm a machinist. What he means is masochist. And it reminds me always when he says that of what Oscar De La Hoya says, which is a great quote. He says, in sparring and in boxing, he would hate to get hit in the face. And I'm one of those type of fighters. I'm not a masochist. Like, I'm the exact opposite. I'm a, I'm a hedonist. I like pleasure. I don't like pain. I don't want to get hit. I don't want to experience pain, and I hate pain. This thing is extremely painful. Oh, you see, by the way, the little dots that I drew on each of these, right in the middle with the paint pen, so that I'm working on not blinking, I'm working on my fighter's eye, as my coach says, yo, what up, Phil? Which is literally that peripheral vision which boxers work on, which is following the punch, following the fist. Accuracy and breathing with those little dots. But in terms of what I was saying, <laughs> the etymology, the semantics, the wording of it, the machine is masochist. Um, yeah, this is the only pain that I've ever enjoyed. And it is painful and it's weird because you hit this thing hard and you will feel it down to every cell in your feet, down in your toes. I mean, it's a, it's a strange ancient thing designed in Japan, obviously, called the clapper makiwara, the solid piece of wood ancient looking thing which uh, which is carved out, mechanically carved out a few times so that it winds up giving and bending and uh, if you see Lyoto Machida verse um, who was the guy who he knocked out the guy who knocked out Fedor, Ryan Bader he had a match in Bellator and he talked about using the Makiwara before this match and this whole little great mini documentary where Machida uh, Sensei Machida, Machida shows how he was preparing for this UFC match by actually hitting this crazy traditional tool, the Makiwara. And when Ryan Bader came in with this classic traditional kickboxing powerful, which he just threw some weird Makiwara technique and dropped like a sack of potatoes because he had been practicing that weird technique thousands of times a day, applying structural power and natural body mechanics muscles bones tendons everything so if you slow it down it's the weirdest look at punch ever but it succeeded because um, machida was hitting the makiwara so much it's interesting is machida is such a high level karate guy and you know even low level karate they will scream at you to always have the body behind the punch like this. You never want it like this. You always want the body behind the punch. But you look at Higaona, who's the highest level coach at Rio Grande. You look at Lyoto Machida, who in my mind, you know, being a UFC champion, great, great fighter, is, you know, one of the best karatekas ever. Those guys throw it outside the body. They're almost throwing like a wide, regular straight punch. They're not throwing this type of karate thing where 
Oh, he has to be right behind. I remember back when I was sparring a long time ago, one of my boxing coaches screamed at me to have my arms in so tight that I was actually in the ring getting my head beaten, beating some other kid's head in, and my arms locked up, like literally cramped because I was trying so hard to squeeze him in. So you gotta relax on that a little bit. I mean, yeah, you don't want him out like this, but you know. Anyways, thoughts on the Makiwara. Avoid it like the plague. Get a sandbag instead. Like I said, there's the first month or two I got this thing, I, I thought it was a heavy bag and, and, and almost cracked my hands open because it looks cool, but if you hit the corner of that thing, you are going to go to a hospital with a hand fracture. It is gonna be shattered. So, yeah, it looks cool, but it's kind of like one of those aqua bags. <laughs> if you're as big on those aqua bags in boxing, if you've ever actually punched one, people usually actually punch one once, like a tire, and then they're like, oh, that's not what I thought. It's a lot harder than I thought. I think I'm gonna avoid that, so you know, really high-level strikers, guys with knockout power already, might enjoy it. <laughs> because it's basically a solid object with a quarter inch of, of thin padding on it and, and wood on all other sides. So it's, a, it's really treacherous. So yeah, like I said, you know, the, there are no shortcuts. One of my coaches rolled his shins and now he has pockets in those shins. Like, you, you will get your shin's much stronger just by kicking a heavy bag. If you wanna get iron fist level power, tape your hands, wrap your hands, throw on some 16 ounce gloves and hit a bag for two hours a day. Your entire body down to your calves and ankles and knees, and quadriceps and hamstrings, everything all the way up. Everything after that two hours a day of hitting it properly think you're gonna do some sort of secret conditioning you know for 5 10 20 30 minutes a day and that will be more valuable make your body more powerful than that I highly doubt it so there are no shortcuts Makiwara is definitely not one of them it's a tool for strictly super advanced uh, karateka and uh, I love slash hate it I'll honestly bring that thing out once, twice a month. The more I have them, the less frequently I bring them out. It's not a heavy bag. It's not, it's not even a punching mitt. I'm not trying to have my hands bust open and be all bloody and broken. Hey, might have a hand modeling career. You never know.